Chef Ben again and uh, welcome to our channel. How are we doing? Well, I just hope that we're all doing fine despite the difficulty of our situation. By the way, before I forget, for first timer, after watching the video, please subscribe. Last video, I talked about a combination of tomato concasse and a brown sauce using in a pasta dish. And then I used a processed meat, a homemade uh, beef sausage. So, uh, before that sausage, I made a farce and then after the farce i made it into a sausage so in this video i will show you how i do it the step-by-step -step procedure in preparing a farce and making it a sausage it got it guys so we will start now our beef farce we will use this beef farce to make uh, a loaf and a uh, uh, small beef sausage. Our ingredients, of course, we have our ground beef. This is approximately, well, actually, this is 350 grams of ground beef and then 150 grams of ground pork. So, a total of 500 grams. And then, our ingredients, we have here one half cup of cornstarch and then uh, one tablespoon of paprika, one teaspoon of liquid seasoning, and five egg whites, and uh, one teaspoon salt, highly salt, and one half teaspoon of white pepper. And then when the farce is finished and we transfer it in a you know, mixing bowl, we will add this ground beef so that when we slice the loaf and the mini sausage, we can still see some beef some beef, small beef pieces and the whole process will be done in a food processor this one we will have to process the ingredients in this food processor here so to start everything we have to put all the ingredients in the food processor okay first our ground beef should be well chilled. There. And then our ground pork. And then our egg whites. And then our salt and pepper. Our cornstarch, our paprika, and of course our liquid seasoning. And then we just have to over this and start processing. to process it until it is smooth and fine. Okay, now it is smooth and fine and uh, resembles a paste. So we will now take it out 
of the food processor and transfer it into a bowl. Okay. Okay, now it is here in the bowl, so I will now add the beak. And then just mix it. If you want, you can add uh, some vegetable here, you can add mushroom, you can add uh, ham, you can add cheese, feel free as uh, something chewy and something uh, additional color in the mixture. You can add uh, red and green pepper. You can even form this into a patty. Just add some more beef. Okay. So, so our uh, pars is now ready. We'll just have to put it in our uh, casing. To form into small sausage, you just have to put it in a pastry bag and then push the ingredient. Like this into the casing. Okay, and then you just have to tie it. You just have to tie. So, got it, guys. Okay, for our loaf, we will add some more ingredients. This are, uh, as I uh, said earlier, you can add some more ingredients. Here, I added sliced mushroom, and then I added the uh, red pimiento, uh, red bell pepper, and of course, to make it more healthy, more healthy, I will add some chopped malungan leaves. Okay, and then mix it thoroughly. And then we will form it into a loaf. And then we will have to poach this one. Together with, with the sausage that we made, we have to poach this for at least 45 minutes. Okay. So, I believe you're learning. Okay. You can even add ham in here. You can even add cheese. This is just the base. This is the base. So, you can add some more ingredients if you want. Okay, got it, guys. So, now we will have to put this uh, to, to make a loaf. Okay, since we don't have a casing, we just have to use our plastic film cling wrap and then. Put it into this one. Okay. And 
and then we will roll it. So we shall do it guys this we shall do this guys. the ends okay the next we will wrap it in we will roll it again in aluminum foil okay so now we will have to roll this in an aluminum foil and then you have to secure the ends and twist it counterclockwise. So you have the, the right is going to the turn it clockwise, and then the left side turn it counterclockwise and make sure it's really tight so that there will be no moisture that will get into this. Okay, so it's already now we have to poach this now our poaching liquid is ready so we will put this one first and then next our mini sausage it, we have to poach this for uh, at least 45 minutes for the big ones but you, you really have we really don't have to boil it it has to be only to be poached because accumulation of heat inside the casing would uh, make the casing burst you know, and we will spoil our uh, our uh, sausage and our loaf. Get it, guys? So we'll just wait for 45 minutes, and then we will uh, uh, take this out and let it cool. So we set this at 45 minutes, and then we'll start. Okay. And then when it's finished, when it's done, we we'll just take it out. Our beef sausage and beef loaf. I believe I have shown you very clearly on how to make bars and how I and uh, how I, I made it into a sausage. And uh, just remember, in preparing this bars, you can replace the beef with chicken or with any meat just retain the pork so that your uh, mixture will not get dry when done the measurement of all the ingredients are the same uh, for the salt for the pepper for the seasoning for the cornstarch and the eggs and then you'll never go wrong as long as you have a nice and good food processor got it guys so See you next video and next video I will discuss uh, one basic soup and that is the emulsifying sauce so uh, there actually there are two emu uh, basics in emulsified sauce one is used in the cold kitchen and one is used in the hot kitchen for the hot kitchen it is the hollandaise for the cold kitchen it is the mayonnaise but uh, next video we will talk about Hollandaise. Got it guys? So, thank you for uh, watching and uh, see you next video when we talk about Hollandaise sauce. And then, uh, before I forget, for first time, please subscribe. And uh, so, this is Chef Ben Casabon signing off. God bless us all.